Hello, hello, and welcome back to Cars of Glasgow. And today we're going to be taking a look at the 2019 Lexus IS 300 H, <laughs> and it's with the premium pack. So stay tuned for this video. The Lexus IS is a stylish compact saloon car and it competes with cars like the BMW 3 Series, Audi A4 and Mercedes-Benz C-Class. Lexus have went with an all-hybrid route, so there is no diesel version available in the current shape Lexus IS. You can get a 200T designation of the 2 litre turbo, and you can, I think it's called a 300 in the facelift. So if we start off the front, the Lexus design language continues with the facelift of the Lexus IS. We've got the large spindle grille. If you get an F Sport, that this grille becomes kind of like a cross mesh pattern, like kind of like a fence. In this edition, we've got the kind of bars going across the way. Very large, nicely swooping design. We've got the trademark Lexus L-shaped daytime running lights which kind of look like Nike ticks are continuing and this particular model has the tri-LED headlights in the Lexus IS that replaces the Bi-Zeon which was in the previous gen the headlight washers remain which are down here down below we've got some fake vents the Lexus IS also has little plastic bits on the side of the car and it's also on the tail lights just there and there and that's to help generate a lot of vortices when you're coming through the air as you can see along through there it just generates a little ripple and makes it a little bit more aerodynamic and efficient to aid in efficiency the Lexus IS 300h comes with 17 inch alloy wheels they may look a little bit small but that helps with the overall ethos of the car with lower CO2 because as you know if you go jump up an inch, an 18 inch or even up to a 19 you're increasing the CO2 emissions just due to the profile in the car creating more drag and while we're talking about CO2 this particular car costs only £10 a year in road tax which is amazing in comparison to other cars such as my previous BMW Z4 was 375 a year to tax <laughs> So if we take a look inside the boot, you can press the button in the fob, it doesn't pop it open, so there's a B button right there. To push in and out to unlock the boot. As you can see we've got the swan neck hinges there. Decent size boot, the rear seats do fold which is a nice touch for a hybrid. Battery panels kept inside there, which nothing too exciting happening. Underneath a little bit of storage, but really just for your towing needs. Get your tie down hooks on the right hand side. And again, a little bit of storage for shopping and things like that. Decent size. Oh, and you've got a little grab handle on the top right here. So inside the Lexus IS, yeah, you get a very classy cabin. It suits the IS and the Lexus brand very well. Kicks it off as the analog clock. We've got touch sensitive buttons for the climate. So you can tap it down once or twice to get a point of a temperature or slide your finger all the way up if you want to quickly go through the temperature range. You can make it dual control at the touch of a button. And also you can block out the rear passengers at this touch of this button there, so that if you just want it in the front only, or if you wanted to open that up to the rear vents, touch of that button. Direction of air flow, fan speed, air conditioning, rear defrost, wing weather defrost. We've even got a CD player which you can play DVDs on the larger nav system because it's got the premium nav. I've got a Dolby digital sound system, heating and cooled seats, 
which are quite nice on a summer's day like today. This eats some self perforated rather. This particular one's got the sandstone interior colour. And we put the cooled seats on, that blows cool air through. Well, you can see the perforation there, you can hear the air conditioned motor turning on in the passenger seat. And this particular car does have the memory uh, set for your, so when you come back in the car if it's heated or cooled, it will remember from the last time you were in the car. So down here we've got Lexus gear shifter, lunch for reverse, it gives you options for driving assistance to kind of help. You've got the flags that identifies cars if you're parallel parking, you've got bay parking, and you've got your standard trajectory lines you can change. Pull it all the way back for drive, hit to the right for sports mode, and you can shift it up to simulate the gears for all the way to six and pull it down to go to first or second. And then you can, if you put it into sports mode while in that mode you get a tachometer which is helpful if you're moving a country road. But I typically leave it in normal and in drive. And you can see there the changes. Down here we've got your traction control off, EV mode if you want to use as much battery power as possible. And then the snow, snow button here limits traction in bad weather conditions. So when you're inside the Lexus IS cabin, <coughs> you're greeted with the high quality interior. As you can see, everything's got the nice stitching around the steering wheel. You've got nice stitching in the armrest here for your, what well, this technically controls the sat nav screen in your media. You've got a little mouse button here just so you get a computer mouse to click enter. But also you can go back and you can just click and push down on something so you can just go like that and it'll pop up. So there's two ways to do almost everything in this car. Put it in the park. A little bit of storage under here where you can put your phone, your USB and your auxiliary import. This lights up at night which is quite cool. The material overall is nice and soft which is quite nice for this kind of car. Very impressive for this. The car said you've got the noise actuator on the right hand side here. You can turn that on and off if you want fake noise to pump through. Electric folding mirrors on the right here. All your and seat controls on the right here. Door locks. Touch of a button. And on the door itself, you've got nice quality materials. Nice leather that matches the seats there. And you've got a little bit of the trim that matches over on the other side of the car, just to break up. And then down here below, you've got a decent size door bin which you can get enough for a gym bottle and maybe a wallet and keys and things like in there. Sound system isn't too bad in this car being Dolby Digital, the sound system's not too bad, you can upgrade to a Mark Levinson sound system. The glove box is this nice aluminium kind of metal brush metal finish and as you can see you might not immediately think, figure out how to open it but in fact the little buttons up here to unlock and lock and that hides away in the glove box itself is nice and deep, but the advantage of this little button is that it kind of clears away and makes, gives it a smoother appearance overall for the passenger. And overall the dashboard itself is pretty nice. We've got the padding up here above the steering wheel. With the white stitching going across, it's all very soft touch. We've even got soft touch for your knee and it's on the passenger side as well. And all up here is nice and soft touch as well, same material. So the gauges in the IS are pretty cool. They're finished in kind of a brushed aluminium steel look. And in the bezeling, we've got the temperature on the left. The tachometers, traditional tachometers are replaced by a charge eco and power mode, which can be altered by the switch of a button. If you want traditional mode, you can get a simulated rev. There we go. So we've got your charge, switch into sport mode, you get the rev tachometer. On the right, you've got your speedo, which is nice and easy to read. And then you've got your fuel gauge on the right hand side there. The middle screen itself is configurable to many things. I'll go through some of the options, lane departure warning, you can go through radio, sat nav, energy, anything kind of useful. I typically leave it on miles to a gallon or range. So moving off is where I think you guys will be most impressed with this car upon takeoff. It uses an electric motor up to about 40 miles per hour and the petrol engine kicks in. It's completely 
silent. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the Lexus IS. I know I sure did. Um, this car's been a joy to drive and own. We're at 1800 miles. I just rolled over to so it's in about six weeks. Not too bad. So the car's really comfortable. The pros are it's silent, it's efficient in the tax, and right now we're getting about 44 to a gallon. I like the gadget, so it's got the, the wide screen sat nav, it's got the cooled seats, heated seats, heated steering wheel, all these kind of things that along with the adaptive cruise control, keyless entry, keyless go, keyless start. Let's go on, but don't want to bore you guys, but yeah, I definitely recommend the Lexus IS to anybody looking for a small saloon car, especially in comparison to them with the 3 Series or the A4 or the C-Class and that kind of ballpark, just make sure you check out the Lexus. And at the time of filming, the Lexus have just won seven awards I've seen uh, for, for the Lexus CT1 Best in Class for 2019 and then also the one like Dealership Awards and Customer Service Awards as well, so go Lexus. So yeah, thanks very much for watching, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Please share, subscribe and like and check us out on other social medias such as at Cars of Glasgow on Instagram, just Facebook search Cars of Glasgow, do have a page there as well, and also got a Twitter, at Cars of Glasgow, and I'm just trying to grow that, that's relatively new. So, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next video. Ciao!